Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today I wanted to give you my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Now, also again, once again, a, a device that came out last year, 2020. And this um, is the last um, Note. Now, there's rumors that the S22 Ultra is really going to be a Note, but it's not going to be called the Note. It's going to be, you know, the S22 Ultra. Now, in my opinion, I think they should have left the Note series alone. Honestly, I mean, why call it the S22 Ultra if it's going to look like a Note? It's going to have the boxy shape. It's going to have the S Pen. Why call it the S22? Like, it's a Note. Like, call it a Note. But that's neither here nor there. This, it, this in all actuality, to me, is the last Note. That's my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. But that's just my opinion. But... Let me give you my first impressions. Now, first, let me give you the specs. And I know most of you already seen tons of video of this, maybe. But I want to give you the specs anyway. All right. So you get a 6.9-inch Quad HD Plus Dynamic AMOLED display with HDR10+, 496 pixels per square inch, a 91.7% screen-to-body ratio, and 120 hertz refresh rate. You're getting Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and back. IP68 water and dust resistance, always on display, face unlock, Snapdragon 865, Android 11, upgrade, upgradable to Android 13, One UI 3.1, expandable storage up to one terabyte, which I know is important to a lot of you out there, 128 gigs of internal storage, which I have an issue with because, you know, the Note 10 Plus has 256 gigs of internal storage, but... We'll talk about that when I do my real when I do my review. 12 gigs of RAM, a 4,500 milliamp battery that features 25 watt fast charging, 15 watt wireless charging, 4.5 watt reverse wireless charging, otherwise known as power share, dual stereo speakers tuned um, with Dolby Atmos, in display. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me, y'all. I'm dealing with a cold. You get an in-display ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, 32-bit audio tuned by AKG, Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, FM radio, Samsung wireless deck, Samsung Pay, secure folder, Samsung Pass, edge panels, edge lighting, link to Windows, big speed routine, screen recording, dynamic lock screen and live wallpapers. And with the cameras, you're getting 108 megapixel wide with laser autofocus, with optical image stabilization, a 12 megapixel periscope telephoto lens with optical image stabilization, five times optical zoom, and you can zoom in all the way up to 50 times hybrid zoom. Next camera is a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Now when it comes to video, the rear camera shoots at 8K, 24 frames per second, 4K at 30 and 60 frames per second, 1080p at 30 and 60 frames per second, and also 240 frames per second also 720p at 960 frames per second with hdr 10 plus stereo sound recording with electronic image stabilization optical image stabilization with the front facing camera you're getting a 10 megapixel wide dual pixel lens video shoots at 4k at 30 and 60 and 1080p at 30 and 60. now <clears throat> when this phone was first released thirteen hundred dollars for this device not worth that it's a it's a great device it's a note but thirteen hundred dollars no absolutely not i'm not i'm i'm not with no phone costing a thousand dollars period so but that's me but now you can find this i've seen it between 700 something and 800 which is a better price it's under a thousand so I'm, I'm okay with that but and I wasn't originally I was not going to get this color because it looked too pinkish to me, but I got it because I've never had a note with a frosted back. And I always wanted to know what it felt like and how, you know, how it felt in my hand. And it's nice to be able to grab it. And I know I could actually use this without a case and don't worry about dropping, it, even though I'm still going to put a case on it. But it's nice to know that I love the way this feels, There's no fingerprints and it's not slippery. Like the first note that I've actually used that's not slippery. I love the the design of this phone. It's really nice. You can see the color around the rings of the camera. 
you know, that triple camera setup. It's a beautiful, beautiful design. It really is. Very beautiful. I love the the thickness of it. I love that the the um button placement, that the power button is back on the right side where it belongs. You got the volume rockers on the right side as opposed to the Note 10 Plus where the volume rockers were on the left. I like everything on the right. That's just me. Down at the bottom here, of course, you get your S Pen, which they moved from being over here. I do not like that placement. Of course, I'll adjust to it. You got your speaker, USB Type-C port, your microphone at the top. You got your SIM slot, and you got another microphone. But when it just comes to the overall design and how this phone feels, it feels great. Now, if you're holding this for a really long time, the corners, I guess, can stab you in your palm, depending on who you are and how you hold your phone. Like if you hold on to it real tight, it could definitely stab you in your in your palm. So put a case on it that that solves that problem or you just hold it. You know, you just hold it a different way, you know, where you're not pushing it so far into your palm like that. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. But the favorite part about this, I love how big it is. Six point nine inches. You know, my, my Note 10 Plus was 6.8, but this is 6.9, and I just love that big, giant screen that, you know, it looks like a big, square, flat TV in your hand. Like, it's just something about the Note in that boxy shape. A lot of people love that boxy shape when it comes to the Note, and I'm no different. I absolutely love it. That's why this is always going to be my favorite device, because no other device is just shaped like this. I, I love... The boxy shape, I also love the width of it, how wide it is. Now, it doesn't make it a one-handed device for me because I have, you know, um, you know, not huge hands, like medium to large hands. So I, it's a two-handed device for me. And But I could always make it smaller by just, you know, just using a one-handed mode. I don't know if I have it activated on here right now. But all I got to do is just, you know, make the screen smaller if I want. But when I look at my notifications is just swipe down on any part of the display and it brings everything down where I can see it. So it's not a real big deal. Um, I love how bright this display is. Of course, I wish it was a little brighter because I guess I'm a little crazy. I just love super bright, you know, phones, but it has no bezels. It has a, a much smaller camera hold than the Note 10 Plus does. And I'll show you real quick. So you can see right there. How much smaller it is now this phone the note uh, note 20 ultra of course it's an inch taller and it's a little bit wider and it's definitely uh thicker so i love my note 10 plus but this is the new big boy this is the new ultra it has a slightly bigger battery bigger screen you know better cameras but we're gonna see just got this today go and check this out um, and I'll give you my re full review in about a month. I'm going to give it some time, see how the battery is, the cameras, you know, the performance. I want to really test everything real thoroughly. All right. <clears throat> All righty. So my first impressions are good. I love the design. I love the build. I love all the things that you get with it because, I mean, it's typical Samsung. They One thing about I always say about them when it comes to software, they give you tons and tons of features which I like whether you use them or not is up to you, but they're there if you want to use them. Now they've taken a, they've gone the opposite direction when it comes to hardware, which I don't like, you know, I don't like it all, you know, no charge in the box, no expandable memory, no case, no headphones. You know, I don't like that stuff at all. I, I just don't. And this one came with a charger. If it, if it didn't come with a charge in the box, I wouldn't have bought it because I'm not going to spend my money on no phone that don't come with a charger in the box. And I don't think one plastic clear case is going to, you know, make Samsung go broke. So, but we'll talk about that when I do my full review. But thank you for taking the time to view this content. I do appreciate it. Hope everybody out there is staying safe and staying well. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. Those are my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Peace.